An electrical current always creates a magnetic field magnetic field around it. Now we've seen this effect in the current flowing in a straight wire and the magnetic field in circular patterns can be found by sprinkling iron filings onto a piece of paper through which the wire is, is pushed. Or if you coil the wire on itself and make a solenoid, a, a coil, then you create a, an electromagnet which has got the same magnetic field as a bar magnet doing this kind of thing flowing from north to south. So this electromagnetic effect is used in several applications. Well, actually loads of applications. There are two that we're going to look at here. They're good ones to remember. So the first one is in a circuit breaker. A circuit breaker. And you've probably seen a box like this underneath your stairs. This is called a consumer unit and it contains a lot of circuit breakers which will protect your electrical circuits in your house. The second one is called a reed switch and this enables a small circuit operated by a battery to uh, switch a larger current circuit on such as the main circuit in your in your house. It's also a relay. It's also called a relay switch. Let's take a look at a circuit breaker and how a circuit breaker works. So let's say that we've got a live wire, uh, 230 volts, uh, the current here is flowing, powering perhaps our electric cooker or something like that in our house. This is inside the circuit breaker and because we've wound this live wire around an iron core, an iron core, we've created an electromagnet. So that might be a north pole, that might be a south pole, and this electromagnet will try to attract any other magnetic material. And so here is another piece of iron which is connected to a lever. This is a pivot. The live wire is also threaded through this pivot to some contacts. Some contacts. And at the moment, these contacts will actually be touching. If that current for some reason gets too high, maybe there's a short circuit or a fault somewhere, then that means there's a higher current flowing in the electromagnet, which means it has a stronger magnetic field, a stronger magnetic pull, and it pulls this iron and attracts it inwards. That makes the lever pivot past this spring here, this little springy leaf. And so the lever is attracted towards the electromagnet and it breaks the contacts. That shuts off the live wire so that the current can no longer flow. And that's a basic circuit breaker. A very simple circuit breaker. Here's another example of the electromagnetic effect. So let's say that we have a small electrical circuit here which is operated by a battery and we want to control a much larger circuit, one that has a higher current, perhaps a circuit which um, operates, for example, perhaps it could operate an electric motor of some type, maybe your garage door. And so we would have a electricity supply here, which would probably be an AC, alternating current supply of maybe 230 volts. So there's going to be a lot of current flowing in this circuit uh, and it wouldn't be suitable to have a switch in this circuit um, because there's a safety risk of you uh, touching the wires and getting a, a shock. So we operate the circuit using this separate external circuit. So when we close this switch we create an electromagnet. Here's a coil of wire. 
the coil is wrapped around two what are called reeds and on the end of the reeds are these pieces of iron or magnetic material so I'll just say that they're little tiny bits of iron and of course if you're inside an electromagnet and you're iron then you get attracted you become magnetic yourself that's called magnetic induction and so these reeds are pulled together that completes the circuit and that means that current can then flow and turn the motor on so this is a type of relay and we'll look at a, a relay in a bit more detail in another flashcard but it's a simple little uh, switch called a, a reed switch and it's no bigger than your thumbnail quite often so those are two applications a circuit breaker and a reed switch which use the electromagnetic uh, effect to good use